even go, Smolene? We were just talking about a piece I did with a haunted bar in De Pere, and after that experience, I have a whole new appreciation for all of the afterlife. And you may, too, after a visit to Heritage Hill this weekend. We told you about the kid-friendly activities. Now it's time for us grown-ups to stay up late with paranormal investigators. Jordan's there live with the very creepy details. Jordan, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, we are inside the Cotton House now, which I hear is haunted here at uh, Heritage Hill. And some people are going to have an opportunity to come through here this right. weekend, right? right. What's yeah. that all about? So Friday night's sold out, but Saturday we have um, the Paper Valley Normal Paranormal Group coming mm -hmm. in and doing an investigation. Um, so they'll get to come into buildings that aren't normally open, like the Cotton House. Yeah. Um, it's from 8 until 1 a.m. Ooh, and that's a creepy time. Yeah, it is a creepy time. <laughs> um, and they'll get to meet with the paranormal group and come into the buildings and do their own investigations, hopefully to hear some EVPs and different things. So. All right. Well, we have them here with us right now. And you guys have been here before. In this house, what are some of the things that you've seen or heard even? <laughs> Personally, when um, we were doing a tour, we were down in the basement, and the basement door was open. And I was looking up at the top of the steps, and I seen a full shadow person come through the door and walk into the wall. And I would say me and two other people got to see it. What are some other things around the Heritage Hill grounds that you guys experienced, too? Well, in this house also, when we were coming up from the basement, we actually heard a little, go little girl. We were coming up through the kitchen, and she's like, hi there. Yeah. It plain <laughs> as day, we hear her voice just like we're talking now. So that was a cool experience. Yeah. They told me this story, and then I went upstairs and walked around. I didn't hear anything, but you guys have the equipment uh, as well. Yeah. What are some of the things that you have here that uh, some people might be able to get to test out a little bit? Um, we have the REM pod, which goes off of EMF, electronic magnet fields, and if you get close, if any energy gets close, it'll go off, make sound. <laughs> That's just a creepy sound. Listen. Oh, imagine if that was yeah. just going off when everyone's away from it. Oh, yeah. that, I don't know. It, I is. it gets creepy when you're like in a, in a quiet house and nothing's happening, and then all of a sudden that goes off. You know a ghost is going by it, and it's so exciting. Yeah, cool. All right, so what are some of the other things, too? We have a spirit box right here, which it scans AM and FM frequencies, creates white noise. It scans at about 150 milliseconds, and you pretty much can't pick up anything more than one word off of radio station, so if you get a full sentence, you got to kind of put that in perspective as it may be paranormal. Uh, um, yeah, and then you have a video camera here. It's a thermal imaging camera. Okay. Yep, thermal imaging, K2s. We use digital voice recorders, uh, temperature gauges, EMF meters. Um, and if people come to our tour on Saturday, there's like 25 tickets left. Um, they can use our equipment and they can ghost hunt just like we do. So. It's going to be exciting. So there will be a group of 60 people here, and you kind of split up and, and do different yeah. things. I think the really cool thing about it is that people come and ask you questions, correct? Oh, for sure, yeah. Yes. We'll have a question and answer session. Um, by the time they leave, they're going to be fully educated. They're going to know how to use our equipment. And we're actually going to be taking them to five of the most haunted locations in Heritage Hill. So it's pretty exciting. And wow. we've been to quite a few, and some are not as active as others, but we're taking them to the most active ones that we know are haunted. Yeah, and a couple places that people who visit here aren't usually allowed to go either. So if you want to get tickets, go to the Heritage Hill website site or the Facebook page. Uh, man, I mean, I, I might have to stop by this weekend and give it a try just because all this looks very enticing and kind of scary right before Halloween. Get you really into that spooky spirit. It sounds really cool and bringing you to places you've never been at Heritage Hill. Can you bring one back because I'd like to check my office. Yeah. Thanks, Jordan. <laughs>